everyone. Hi, everyone. Melanie and I is going to do a little bit of uh, sewing today. Yes, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. I'm still here with my mama. And in my last video, whenever I gave you guys a tour of her home, I didn't mention my mama's name. And some of you have heard me talk different times about my mom, but some of you haven't. So for those of you that are new, this is my dear mom, Dottie. Uh -huh. Her name is Dorothy, but everybody calls her Dottie. So yeah. today, tell them what we're doing today, mom. Well, today, like I said, uh, Melody decided she wanted to make some... Uh, like ornaments, either for uh, Valentine's Day, Christmas, whatever that you can find in this bag of goodies to uh, copy a pattern over. So her and, her, her and I is going to see what we can do if we can make what we're thinking we can do. So I'll turn you back over to Matt. <laughs> we're going to give it our best shot. So I've been mentioning on my channel um, a few times that I'm kind of revamping my decorating style. I always loved country decorating and then I kind of got away from that and did a lot more Tuscan decorating but now I'm really getting more into country decorating again. Um, the love of it's just really coming back full force with me. So what I want to do is I used to always have a little mini artificial tree a little bit bigger than the one behind me but I used to leave it out all year round and I would decorate it for different holidays. But what I want to do is decorate it with country ornaments that I can leave out all year round. So I brought some crafting stuff home with me and I thought mom and I thought it would be fun if mom and I worked on a craft together because we used to do that kind of stuff a lot. Yes. Like do little kind of crafts and everything and we haven't done it for a while. So I thought it would be fun to do. So I brought home some um things that we're going to use. And I, of course I forgot cookie cutters and I'm going to use the cookie cutters for my pattern. These are the fabrics that I want to use for my ornaments. I have this really pretty blue gingham. Then I have this green gingham. I love this green one and I want more of this and I have been having a hard time finding it. I'm going to have to look at Joann's whenever I get back home. I also have this and I have a lot of this one. So I'll probably be using a lot more of this one than the other ones. And this will be a nice solid color. So these two are really going to look nice together. But the burgundy is going to look good really with all of them. And then I also have this one. So there's going to be some really nice contrasting colors. And I want to include some twine in these ornaments. So I think that'll be really pretty. So what I'm going to do, like I said, and like mom said, was I'm going to use cookie cutters for my patterns because I'm not good at drawing at all. <laughs> I can't draw at all here. So I'm just going to go through like all of these and see if I can find some cute ones and, you know, see what all she has in here. It's like this, so this little tree, that's going to make like a really great little pattern. And then uh, she's got some other ones here. She's got a cute little heart. That's going to look adorable. So, and then she's got, oh my goodness, she's got these cute little old ones. Oh my goodness, mom, these are adorable. I think I should take these. Do you care if I take these? No, you can have them. It's like, oh my gosh, these are adorable. I love these. Were these your mom's? I don't know where I got them, honey, whether they're my mom's or Jack's mom's. I have no idea. These are adorable. Me, like I said, I'm just a plain old country girl. I... <laughs> I like things country and that's it. Yes, so. she does. I don't think her decorating has ever strayed from the country no. for as long as I can remember. Um, I think what we're deciding to do is we're going to trace these a little bit bigger than what these actually are. Because like mom said, when we go to put these together, like with the fabric and the matting, it's going to make them even smaller. So I think I'm going to just try to test my Hard artistic it is i'm gonna try to test my artistic skills and just make it a little bit bigger than what this actually is and i'm just gonna hope for the best that it's not like too terribly messy because like i said i was not 
why didn't you bless me with uh, some artistic talent, <laughs> Mom? Hey, well, I had to learn on my own to you. <laughs> it's like I can decorate and I can cook, but I cannot. You're going to do two? Uh, two what? Just cut out one pattern. Oh, yeah. We're only going to cut out one pattern one of pattern. each, and then we'll just we'll flip it. You know, we can just trade off. You know, if you want to do a star, you can do the star. You got that one. So we'll just trade. So let's let's see, guys. How did I do? I don't know. <laughs> it looks more like well, a, I just drawed mine with the pattern. That so so looks more like a, a, a weird starfish. <laughs> oh my gosh! See what I tell you? I can't even like trace a. I can't even trace a cookie cutter. <laughs> <laughs> So now I'm just oh, going I think it'll to be fun once we get on to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the getting started that's sometimes the hard part here. Oh, I had, a, I had made cloth ornaments one year for my Christmas tree. And I just cut patterns out of my own and I stuffed them with cotton. And But I sewed mine. I stitched them by hand. And they were very nice. And we were trying to find them downstairs or down in the basement. Them. But we could not find them. So I don't know where they're at. They're down there somewhere. Yeah. But I've got stuff scattered around everywhere down there. And if my brother is watching, Glenn, no, I did not take them. Mom didn't give them to me yet. <laughs> so just to be clear, I don't have them. Right, Mom? <laughs> yeah, and you know, I don't know whether I put, I might have put them even in with Goodwill stuff. I was wondering that. I could have. Yeah, yeah, never to be seen again. I hope you didn't. Why well, didn't give it away yet? Well, oh, Good. it's still down there? Goodwill stuff. Oh, still okay, down there. Good, because I was... If we could have found them, I was going to kind of sweet talk you into giving them to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have to sweet talk her. She pretty much gives me anything I want. It's like, as you guys know, if you watch my channel, I mean, my mom gives me everything. And it's like, and I appreciate it so much. It's like, I have so many things that okay. belong to her. And I love it. Oh, hers is, look at this. Hers is so much better than mine. She definitely has more artistic talent no. than I do. So now we just have to get this, um, we're going to do the tree too. Yeah, okay. I decided to go with the tree, the star, and the heart. I think those are going to be some really cute little uh, patterns that the I can star. use oh, you throughout. Did the star. Yeah. We did the heart. Yeah. So now we just have to do the now tree. Now we have to do the tree. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to do the tree or do you want me to do the tree? It doesn't matter. Do you want me to trace the you tree? trace the tree. Okay. I'll trace the tree. And then we can get started on the, uh, on using the fabric. Now you know what I did? I drew the pattern right this way. I drew the pattern just the way the pattern is, okay? Yeah. And then I cut it a little larger as I was cutting it oh, out. that's what you did? Yes. Oh, okay. That'll work. So you did it from this side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Wish I would have did mine that way because I might it, just go ahead and do mine over again because I'm not easier, happy with how that know. looks. That looks more like a, a weird shaped starfish than a, <laughs> than a star. <laughs> Looks like it's been stretched out on the bottom of the ocean for a while. It doesn't look too bad to me. Oh, so, I'll try this and see if, gosh, I took my glasses off and now I can't see. So blind here. Oh, well, I can't see. You can double way around it? No, I gotta, I gotta turn this. It's like from this angle, it's just not good. I can't get it. There we go. Oh, well. Did you put it right on the tip? Yep, I think so. Sure, I did. Let's see. There we go. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> got it. So now we'll just cut this one out and then we can get started on the cut fabric. It. Mm -hmm. Cut it a little bit bigger mm -hmm. than what the yeah. pattern is. Okay. We'll see how this turns out. So we decided that we're going to use the heart first. Heart. Yeah. Yes. So I'll help you get this. So I'm going to trace two patterns. And I'm going to add the pattern to her. And she's going to uh, shape two patterns. Mm -hmm. That way, we'll be both doing it at the same time. Okay. So here, let's start with, yeah, that's probably more manageable for you. Yeah. So. Now I have to copy them out. Yeah. No. But don't waste no, material. Right, yeah. Okay, keep tracing. Oh, now you're going to yep. use it. Looks good, Mama. And you're going to do two. Yes. I probably should have ironed this fabric out first, but I was just a little bit too lazy. So 
So let's see here. As close as I can. I don't want my fabric to be crooked. It might be difficult to see it on this. I don't know. Yours was pretty easy to see. I hope this isn't too difficult. Did you get one out? I no, I haven't. I cut the material up yeah. close. And I'm just going around it. My eyesight's not the best. No. I know I'm blind as a bat if I don't have my glasses on too. Let's see how this is looking. I think I got it all traced. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. And now I'm just gonna trace my second heart. So my mom and I decided that the batting that I originally wanted to use probably isn't going to work because that's just going to be no. a lot of extra um, tracing. So mom had a great idea to just use some that's cotton cool. balls because these aren't going to be big ornaments because I only intended the, for them to be little anyway. So we're just going to shape, I'm um, just, I mean, we're going to just need very little cotton just to, just so that it gives it a little bit of dimension because right, I, a little bit yeah, control. and just to weight it down a little wee bit. So we're just going to work at this next step and then we'll show you how I plan to put them together because this is going to be a no sew project pretty much. Um, I might decide to add a little bit of embellishment here a little bit later on that might involve a little bit of sewing, but for the most part, this is a no sew craft. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate first for mom, um, just to, so she can kind of have an idea of what I was thinking. So we'll see if this works. I have no idea. Hopefully uh, I can pull off what I'm envisioning. I was hoping to have something to set under this. Is it okay if there were- It get, should be. It shouldn't melt and stick to it? I don't think it'll go through. Okay, so I'm just going to try to- and Stick to that. Kind of goes as close as I can. Hopefully I can get it done before it starts to dry. Maybe that piece of your stuff too. Oh, mm -hmm. you don't put it on the outside. Right. That's right. Yeah, so and I'm just going to pull a little bit of the cotton apart, just like this. Kind of stick it in there just a little bit. And then I'm just going to take this and match them up, hopefully as best as I can. work it around there hopefully like I said it doesn't start to dry before I get it done oh I have a little space here that I need to re-glue so I missed that a little bit so I'm just gonna lift that up Whoop, the whole thing came undone Maybe it would be better to do a little bit at a time for the next one. Maybe. Do you know what I mean? Like not work the whole way well, around. Here, see here too. See. Yeah, yeah. So trial. Oh, no, it's glued. Trial and error. Is it, it good? It's so stuck. that's good. Perfect. Okay. So trial. Your honey's just out past that. That's all right. your material. What's that? Your material's out of past your glue. Well, remember, I'm going to be going yeah. around it. So mm -hmm. as long as it's stuck, did it glue? Uh huh. Yeah, that's okay. Perfect. Okay. So this is all trial and error, guys. I didn't see these done anywhere. So this is, we're gonna see how this all turns out. This is, you know, just something I envision. I am gonna just maybe take that a little bit closer right there. Just something I envision. So hopefully I can 
Hopefully I can pull it off. Yeah, you do it this way. So, okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna help mom with. Cause I, like I said, I can't see the best. Yeah. And... So. Is this glue on Actually, maybe I'll do it this way. Maybe instead of trying to shove it in now, maybe I'll just kind of lift up on it because you already got it padded nice. So we'll do this one a little bit differently. I'm just gonna, I'll go around it slowly and work my way. Yeah. And that'll be better. Matching up. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna work a lot better. See, sometimes you just gotta figure it out mm -hmm. as you go. When you don't have a plan in place, so that's gonna that's gonna work much better, <laughs> and I think I will have less waste of uh, material because I'll be like, oh, I gotta throw that away. It didn't turn out right. Oh, there. I'll watch her doing these things, and then I'll when she's not around, and I have to do something. I'll do some of my own. Exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> we just gotta make enough that we can share. That's all. You can have some of these and I'll have some of these. Like, we'll just split them 50 50. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. I'll put a little bit here. That works so much better, Mom. Just going around like this, nice and slow. A little bit at a time. Yeah, uh -huh. and then I can guide it too. Yeah, see, and then you see your little ball too. Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. Here, right. I just kind of much. No, I just kind of fluked it in there. Mm -hmm. I'll salvage it though. We'll still use it. Oh yeah. I think it'll once we get everything else done. I think it'll still be okay. There's that. Now you have to make sure they're dry good before you can pink them. Right. Wow, we cut those really good. We're going to have to look at Goodwill stuff, so see if those ones are in right. there that I made. Yeah, yeah, we will. Yeah, definitely after we're done playing around here. Okay, so here they are so far, and I uh -huh. thought it would be cute to make each side different. Sorry, my glasses are falling down here. I wanted them to be um, contrasting colors, so I think this is going to look so cute and country, but we're not done yet. There's still definitely more to do on these, so... I'm gonna let these dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to show you what I plan to do next. But I wanna try to pink um, just a little bit. I don't wanna have a whole lot, but I do wanna have just a little bit of a, of a pink on the edge. Pink, I guess you call it, do you call it a pink? Yeah, that's pink. They're pinking shears, shears yeah. but I don't know what the actual, I don't know if I can get in there enough. How's that? That's not really getting in there enough, is it? What do you think? Bad. I think that's enough. I mean, it's not. Yeah. It's not bad. really what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping for a bigger pink. They would have had a bigger though, honey. Would they have? Yeah. So that's looking cute. What do you yeah, think? that's good. I just hope I'm not getting my glue cut off in the process. I could always go back, I guess, and yeah, add a little bit of glue if I need yeah, to. Yeah, if you need it. Yeah. But I think that's gonna give it some nice. Um, yeah. Definition there. More of a finish look. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's cute. Don't you think? You didn't get the whole way around yet. No, no. I'm just showing mm -hmm. you. Yeah, looks that. good. So I'm liking that. I think. Yeah, it looks really cute. Yeah. So there's... Looks like it. Yeah, it's cute. Super cute. So to make a little loop, what I decided, I'm going to use this jute twine so this is just the quarter inch and i'm just going to make a little loop and i'm going to do it on this pretty little side and i don't want to have too big of a hanger on it just a little bit so i'm gonna make it about like that i am gonna leave a little bit extra hang because if you've watched some of my decorating videos where i've used twine i like to fray this so after I get this little hook made, I'm going to attach a little bow also made out of twine. And then I'm going to uh, fray these ends. So this is about where I want this to be. And I don't know where I 
put the other scissors. Let's see where I put the other ones. Everything's like all over the place right here. So I'm just gonna cut it off about there. So I'm gonna say this is probably about, I don't know, maybe six inches, I guess. Would you say that's probably about six inches? Yeah. Yeah. So close up. Yeah. I'm gonna just make sure my ends line up. I'm gonna attach a little dab of my hot glue right about here. And then, let me just put that right there. So I make it shorter than what I planned. A little bit, huh? Too bad, I guess, right? Yeah. So just like that. And if I want to cut these, I'll cut those in a little bit. But first I'm going to make a little bow and also attach it right in the center. I'm just gonna take a piece of my jute. And I don't even have to have my, I'll probably record over this. Just tie a simple little bow. Do you think I should have used the bigger? Bigger what? Bigger jute. No, I wouldn't have, have used the bigger here. jute on it, no. Mm -mm. I'm going to be careful you don't burn yourself, no, no. You ever pulled you apart when you mm -hmm. work with it? And I never did, no. Oh, you've never worked with twine like this jute twine? No. I don't remember if I've yeah, worked with jute twine, but I don't never remember pulling it pulling apart. apart. Spraying it apart. Yeah, I always do it every time I use it pretty much. I don't know, it just gives it more you know, rustic. Mm-hmm. She turned around facing me. I can see it. Cute. Or would you have not had both of them being different? Let me see. Or would you have not had two of them being the same? Would you have not left that one hang? Which one? Would you, just had, would you have left both of them hanging or would you have just let this one hang in? No. You think it looks okay? It doesn't look yeah, dumb like that? No, it looks fine. Because this is one from the bow here. Mm -hmm. No, it looks good. Or should I have left the one from the bow longer and left that shorter? You know what I mean? Does it look okay? You sure? I think it does. Sure. Yeah. Should I have left these longer? I wouldn't have left them longer. You'd be no. shorting that one little bit because this one here is longer than that one. Yeah. See? All right. I would have just shortened it a little bit, that's all. There. 
Would you shorten these Sounds ones? Sounds like the same. Yeah. Would you shorten these or left them? Yeah, I'll leave them all. I yeah. wouldn't shorten them. Yeah. 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 There's a few there so far. They're cute. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 